This weekend we're celebrating and commemorating Tisha B'Av. A very sad day on the calendar that dates all the way back to the time the Meraglim, the spies, went to Israel and came back with a negative report. Because of that, the people began to cry. And ultimately we lost Ben Hamikdash on that day, not once, but twice. And so many other tragedies happened during this time period. The Gemara tells us a story about the destruction of the second Ben Hamikdash. There was once a man, and he was throwing a party, and he wanted all of his friends to come and join. So back in those days, they didn't have instant messenger, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, etc. He actually had to ask somebody to go and deliver invitations to his friends. One invitation was addressed to a man named Kamtsa. Unfortunately, the messenger made a mistake and went to the house of Bar Kamtsa and delivered the invitation. Now, the problem with that is that while Kamsa was this man's friend, Bar Kamsa did not get along with this man at all. In fact, they really disliked each other. Well, Bar Kamsa was surprised to get the invitation, but nonetheless, he was invited, and therefore he went to this party. When he walked in, the host of the party couldn't believe that his sworn enemy, Bar Kamsa, was there. And he asked him to leave. He said, I don't like you. Why would you think you should be here? Leave! And Bar Kamsa said, listen, I'm, I'm sorry, there must have been some misunderstanding, but I'm, but I'm here already. I'll tell you what, I'll pay for everything that I eat. No! Absolutely not! Get out! I don't like you! I, I'll, I'll tell you what, I, it's really embarrassing for me. I'll pay for half the party. For sure not! Get out! Bar Kamsa tried one last time. He said, I'll pay for the entire party. And the man said, absolutely not. I don't like you. Seeing you makes me upset. Get out. The Talmud tells us he got on a boat. He went to Rome. And he told the emperor that they were, the Jews were creating an uprising. They were going to overthrow the government. And because of that, the Romans came and ultimately destroyed the Beit HaMikdash. And the question is, what, what could we learn from this story? How many different lessons could there be? So, maybe Bar Kamsa should have left. Maybe the host of the party should have been nicer and more caring. Maybe there could have been some sort of compromise. Maybe we need to be very honest. Bar Kamsa made up a story instead of dealing with his problems. It continued to escalate. There's one other group that's part of the story. You see, it wouldn't be fair if it was just two people who had an argument that led to the destruction of Manu Mekdash. What about all the rest of the party goers? The Gemara says there were great people there, and not one stood up and said, maybe we could come up with a solution. They all stood by and watched. So as we sit on Tisha B'Av and we mourn for the loss of our holy man of Mikdash, let's think about, of course, we probably don't do things wrong, but could we be better friends? Could we help de-escalate situations, not make them worse? And could we not be bystanders? Let's think about how this year we could work on being better people and less bystander. Get involved, help people out, and show that we really care about each other. And that, my friends, will help bring the Beit HaMikdash.